potential markets. Basically, if you see different market saving also, for example, in South India, market is not vary with the season. If in North India, you see the season in winter also, beer consumption is going low down. So that's why if there is a requirement in a, uh, in a uh, regular fashion, in a regular manner of business, then market size and market capacity and how demand is there. Then uh, how person who is selling beer after production, how is getting the money back after selling? Whether it is through government, whether it is through any uh, like beverages corporation payment, whether it is the L1 system like in Delhi, some L1, in warehousing system in Northeast, there is a warehousing or there is a, uh, we can say supply chain to help the stocking and direct selling to the market. That is directly how he getting the money back. In basically in government system, for example, beverages system, there is what happens, you, your, your material, your product is secured there. Your payment will be through bank only. Okay, also all the payment through bank only because what happens in government, but again there will be a secondary um, work, lot of work in marketing, you need to focus in marketing, how you are going to promote your beer, how you are penetrating the market, that is again important because there are lot of exercises are required there. Then uh, also uh, duty structure, in state to state duty structure varies, for example in certain states right now also bottling fees are there. If we bottle the beer, we need to pay bottling fee in terms of liter, bulk liter. That calculation is called per beer. Okay. In certain states, uh, to attract more entrant, to attract more business, they wipe out the bottling fee. They only uh, have their hologram prices. For, for, for one bottle, one rupees or 50 paisa like this. Okay. And in certain areas, they need a earnest money deposit before getting the permit. For example, I am producing a beer, certain quantity of beer, one truck of beer I want to sell. So for one truck, I need to pay the duty first. And that duty will come back to me after secondary sale through government. That is required. Then starting a beer business, important is feasibility. How we calculate, how we work out the feasibility, whether the business is going to be feasible, whether I am going to get the system back, ROI, that is important, that is called feasibility analysis. So for that, we need to know the un budget, understanding the budget, what is the budget, what capacity of budget, budget is there and what is my capacity to match that budget or not. Okay. Then third point is ROI calculation, that is important because you know, there is a thumb rule till date in a greenfield brewery, ROI is five to seven years. In a greenfield brewery means it is more than 100 digital capacity brewery. The ROI is five to seven years, but we don't have certain such so much of time to wait for that ROI. That is a negative thing for the greenfields. So a lot of greenfields are not coming up because of this ROI. That is issue because you know a lot of people don't put money. They need a bank loan. All these things. So that ROI is not going to help in now. Then another is that license. If everything is there, budget is there, my banker is ready, everything is land is there, then what are the policy in the government, excise policy, whether their new license are open or not. Like in last, uh, last one year we have seen there were a lot of policies, a uh, lot of uh, excise, uh, uh, you know, uh, like excise uh, permissions have given, LOI have been given in UP, in Uttarakhand also. So that, that increases the, that increase the uh, person who are investors to have an investment. So we'll get the, easily get the license because license getting is a big problem. If having entire thing, LOI getting will take three to four months. Sometimes it is more than one year also. After getting LOI, they given a one year only to build the brewery, which is not sufficient to make, build the brewery within a year. Then also locality, what I told you earlier also what are the market size and locality and availability of the land and also more important is the pollution norms of that state. Whether it, it through NGT, if there is a NGT rules are there, then we need to have a ZL, the zero liquid discharge plant. This, this, is, this is very much important because we cannot pollute the water body anywhere after getting the effluent of the brewery. Then uh, another point is coming, uh, uh, if I am having entire thing, then my brewery is ready, what brand I am going to start in brewing? Whether my own brand, whether I am having certain tie-ups. 
that is brand designing brand promotions and style of branding and how i am going going to the market with my presentation to the market last is the capacity places okay why capacity because the brewery uh, if a greenfield brewery is their capacity is uh, for example uh, 0.5 million hl 0.5 million hl means almost 5 lakh cases per month okay so that's that's that much of capacity i am ready to utilize for my branding and my entire things that is important so what happens if i am not utilizing the capacity then the cost of production will go up my revenue is not going to get back to me so that time tie up options are there whether i should open to tie up allow anybody to have their own brand and tie up with me my brewery and how i can utilize the capacity to get the cost effective solution of the brewery so why tie up why because uh, what happens uh, i told you earlier in tie up options you need not to have a very big budget so that is first and foremost is it is very less risky lot of money no, no need to put entirely lot of money planning of a brand with a new recipe new design style of brewing new style of label all these things with a tie up and see the market how market is moving with my brand how my brand is moving with the market and how acceptance is there from market and slowly slowly it builds up it not rome is not built in a day like this the brand is not good new built in a day you need to if you need, need to develop a brand design a brand you need to have a patience with the tie up which is less risky with a tie up system tie up brand. so right now lot of people are coming with tie up options to the brewery if the brewery is having capacity they need certain volume of the brewery they have their own recipe their own brewer and they utilize the brewery capacity they utilize the brewery machineries the utility all these things and do their own branding so initial capex is low i told you and more is important more important is how to have that brand development more important is always quality focus on the quality is important for the tie ups new brand tie ups focus on the quality again all also brand flexibility with pack style if i am having a brewery 650 ml capacity of brewing 650 capacity capacity of bottling then i need to have a 650 capacity 650 ml capacity tie up branding tie up if you need to have a 330 ml pack size then what we need to have we need to have a change parts in the bottling that again there will be a uh, budget we need to have work out the budget whether my budget is going to match with the uh, change parts with the bottling uh, 330 ml business is how much volume is going to be having whether that brewery is having canning option or not because what happens 100% bottle business is not right right now not happening can option is there and total india bottle business and can business vary with season in summer can business also increasing why increasing because we need not to have lot of time to chill down the can it take less time to chill down the can beer and in summer consumption of beer is very fast so that's why can option is very fast in summer but entirely if you see 70% is bottle business and 30% is can business still in india so that again we have to see whether my bottle business is always there option should be there bottle with can not 100% with bottle or not 100% with the can just can bottle can packing then last and foremost is strategic partners certain breweries are there they have the capacity they have entire thing but they don't have a branding there so they need they need brand to be tie up with them and have a strategic partners whether they need to increase the capacity whether they need to have a new attachment with their system bottling system ring pull attachment whether any kind of new development with the uh, labeling style labeling design so there will be a strategic partnership so there will be a investment will be going to be reduced so what uh, first and foremost for the tie ups what should be the first idea what to know first is to know the cost card of my beer my beer how much costing will be there for the production and how much how in at what price i will launch into the market and what profitability i will be getting that is called cost card analysis i will give you example after some time so second is that brand designing 
that brand should be designed very beautifully that it should be a catchy it should be having a very good lucrative design and the bottle size should bottle style will be different because what happens everybody right now coming with their own design of bottles that is called patented bottles why because common iba bottle packing is right now going to be a reduce in market so everybody having their own bottling style bottle design so that bottle design should be how much and what kind of bottle design will give what kind of quality because again long neck bottle may go for a higher oxidation of the beer oxygen uh, head space will be much more so there will be more, more much more deterioration of the beer that designing is important then uh, pack style and size and market study and penetration for dye ups again important is what market i am going to launch and how much i can penetrate because secondary sell and uh, reordering of the beer is important for the tie up first lot after first lot at what gap i again i am expecting a next order that is important that is called reordering of the beer so that penetration is important so that's why what happens right now in certain part of because i am working with lot of uh, tie ups also lot of people are there they are having their own marketing team they are having their own promotion styles so they need a brand come to them and they have their, because uh, they are also having certain designs and they uh, put their manpower and their manpower no need to have a tie up to have an entire load of manpower for example in a state we need to have at least 50 or 25 to 50 man force so there are certain uh, companies that are there they also support in that way of course they will ask certain share from their profit then last is that finalizing of the brewery where i am going to tie up with my own brand that brewery is in in terms of quality in terms of design what design the brewery is designed whether it is a modern brewery having modern all modern aspects the lab is well equipped with all automations with all analytical all analytical setups and the brewery is uh, having almost all the automations and the packing uh, pack hall is also well designed that is important for the tie ups because last first and foremost is quality so that is important to have a finalizing the brewery this is the cost card of a strong beer strong beer means always strong means more than 6% alcohol 6 to 7% alcohol of beer if you see the cost card major cost is there in packaging materials packaging material is almost 46% cost is there in packaging material why because bottle is very much costly if you see can also can is also at par with bottle right now one empty can is almost costing you around 11 rupees 80 paisa and one that is 500 ml can if a 650 ml bottle with a good bottle manufacturer it is right now landing at a price of 16 to 17 rupees so that demands a lot of money in the packaging material raw material is coming around 22 to 25% raw materials of course earlier it was 15 to 16% in last uh, couple of months we have seen there is a rapid increase of the malt price earlier we are getting a malt at the price of around 35 40 rupees 45 rupees right now it is coming around 60 rupees. indian malt i'm telling you so that was that's why raw material price increase uh, raw material price increase from 15% to share is right now 22 to 23% 24% and excise sticker is very low because it is around 2% 1 to 2% depends upon state to state also which state some states also not having their excise adhesive stickers okay they only open the permit conversion charges of course when i am tying up the brewery i need to give a conversion charges to that brewery per case or per hl there will be calculation so he will, that own uh, that parent brewery will calculate how much uh, conversion charges we have to pay per case if it is the big volume the conversion charges may be low if it is a very small volume the conversion charges will be a thumb rule they will ask around 90 rupees somewhere in for water and for 110 rupees for can also they are asking and uh, finally is the transportation overheads overheads also includes any kind of market promo schemes are there any discounts because new entrants should be give a discount to the market why because there is a re- expectations from the market to have a discounted beer for for the new beginners so how will do a brand designing 
who will do design the brand a brew master or brewer is required for a recipe designing that is that is the first and foremost of the brand designing and another thing maybe a team who work on the look of the branding of the look look like bottle label crown all these things they are branding that kind of team may be hired to have a better quality designing what what quality it should looks like this then segment and cost what segment i am going to be i should start with the business whether it is a strong segment whether it is a premium strong whether it is a only uh, only strong whether it is a super premium strong that segment i need to see with because why when i calculate the cost card cost card uh, that government paying style is different from segment to segment the costing okay that is called mrp mrp of the bottle and before that they calculate the per case how much they will pay back to the manufacturer so they are important because it is because obviously the price of super premium uh, premium is very much higher premium is much higher than strong and strong is moderate price so that again i have to calculate how much volume i can sell in my super premium whether i am launching with a only moderate uh, normal strong then volume uh, must be much more but profitability will be little less quality then aesthetic look again i already i told you aesthetic look and appeal and taste and palatability okay the recipe designing is important why because you are going to give you a good quality of beer that is important because without quality nobody will sustain in the whole world and packaging style then profitability analysis come after entire all the exercise brewery finalization how i can finalize the brewery that is also important what are the potential market and from the potential market how far my brewery is whether the brewery is located in andhra and i am having a potential market in karnataka let me calculate how much transportation cost will be there if i am getting a good brewery in telangana and it is very nearby to karnataka then i have to calculate how much because right now diesel price is varying so transportation cost will be a big, bit more calculation so that is required location from potential beer market uh, uh, okay then brewery finalization criteria is size of brewery style of brewery and technology that i have already told you whether it is a ultra modern technology like having a mass filter less extract loss all these things that should be one person should be always in mind to know so for that one person who is having a new entrant for the new tie up he need to have a good brew master or any type of consultant who can give a round to the brewery finalize the brewery costing of the brewery and the recipe standard loss in the brewery in which brewery i am tying up and what losses are there in brewery because you know everything i have need to purchase and pay to the, there are two kinds of tie up one is some brewery have their standard pricing they give you this much of alcohol of beer this much of alcohol of beer i will give you this much of case per case okay and standard practice is there this much of malt like for example 55 to 60 percent of malt in your recipe 30 percent of rice 10 percent of sugar like this a very standardized they, they standardize the brewery so they have put a total package you need to have only bottles carton and labels and i will provide you the liquid beer to you you can fill into your beer then there will be what happens you don't have a flexibility for your own brand designing you need to you what you what he give you that only you have to purchase and fill in your bottle then if you need your own recipe then you have to calculate how much malt how much rice and how much hops and what kind of hops i can put to have a better taste of beer better quality of the beer that is important to see the costing and the standard loss in the brewery then compatibility and flexibility whether that brewery is flexible with me or not if i am tying up the brewery i am giving him the volume then he should give me flexibility with me with the tank size what tank i am using what kind of yeast i am using for my own recipe okay because when i am giving my own recipe then i need to have introduced my own yeast i do not i should not have their their yeast to put in my pot or brew okay that is important and efficiency of the brewery per day capacity product bottle bottling line efficiency or brewing efficiency is very much important that is related to your capacity and capacity utilization this is one of the profitability analysis just it was a raw analysis with the new bottle with the new bottle uh, there is a cost analysis 
if I am expecting a price of 550 per case from the government pricing of a super premium beer and 820 per case of can beer, then there will be a profitability in bottle is 23 rupees, 24 rupees. It is coming around 24 rupees per case and in can it is coming around 95 rupees. Of course, there is a big discount I have given here, 40 and 80 for the new entrant. That depends upon the market, market style and expectations of the secondary sales in shops in marketing because all shops need discount of the new entrants. So profitability and profitability analysis uh, again may be a discouraging with that figure. 24 rupees only 24 rupees is a profitability. How I can uh, I can run my show? That is a question. But there is a answer to their profitability analysis. If, if we are a new entrant, I am a new entrant. I have to pump my new bottle to the market with a good volume so that after 3-4 months I should be able to get my bottle back from the market as a recycling process. That recycle bottle when come to my brewery, that will give my profitability. Why? Because one bottle I pay 17 rupees and recycle bottle, branded recycle patented bottle price is around 3 to 4 rupees, may not more than 5 rupees. That way 120 rupees of the gap will going to be reduced after 3-4 months. When I have enough time to pump the bottles, primary sales, secondary sales to the market and wait for 4 to 5 months, 6 months. Because why? I will tell you clearly that new tie-ups should not be planned for a 6 months or 1 year of business. They should plan for a long business and profitability calculation they should not start from the day one. In fact, they should start the profitability analysis after six months of their secondary business. Why? Because we don't have enough for a new entrant. For, for, for example, if I am a new entrant, what I will do, one bottle sale in market is a 100% to me. Why? Because it is a new, new product, what I have introduced in market, that is a new acceptance, a new penetration. So need to have a patience, need to have a patience. Why? because greenfield opening and tie-up is a big, huge gap. Greenfield, all greenfields are not less than 40 to 50 crores and tie-ups may start with 2, 3 crore or 4, 5 crore of investment. That depends upon the size, style of brewing and volume of the beer. After secondary sale, 3 months I have given you very much, means uh, much more uh, before 3 months but at least 6 months should be required. And in 500, 500 ml can, profitability will come in a first month also. But again, it is very seasonal. It depends upon season style of market. In South India, in North India, and in Northeast, if you see the entire market, can business in South India is not much more than Northeast. If it is the Northeast entire Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, that part of India, can business, can demand is very high, can be a why? There is a major issue is there, transportation of the bottle can be here to hill area is also very easy, apart from the bottle. Another thing is, another is, uh, easy is there, that uh, market also very much tending towards can because it is very easy to open a can, 500 ml can and drink easily. That, that gives you a profitability but again market style, market volume and market size depends upon bottling and canning. So both options should be there in the uh, tie-up options. Budgeting beer tie-up business. How I will budget? What are the expenses? What are the expenses from day one to day one? to start my beer business in the market. First and foremost is I have to give a advance to the contract bureau where I am going to tie up. Always they have a big setup so they need an advance at least. Why? Because why that advance is there? Because what happens that brewery is having a license with government. If I make a beer there and I, I couldn't able to sell their beer and uh, I will put their beer in warehouse 
they have to pay the penalty to the state government. They cannot keep beer more than three months in their warehouse. There is a, there is a uh, government norms are there. So that's why they need a caution money deposit in their brewery. Suppose the person is, uh, is uh, not selling it perfectly, perfectly and uh, he may be having not good business and after one, two months he want to wind up. That money is required to pay back to the state government excise if there is a penalty. Of course, they have a huge setup, so that's why they need certain advances. Then excise registration. It depends upon state to state. Label registration and can design registration. That is excise registration. Apart from excise registration, another, another registration is there that is called company registration to the state beverages corporation. That is required. In state to state, it is varies. There is a huge money, around 10 to 12, 14 lakhs deposit is there that is refundable and one lakh annually they uh, they accept the money to be deposited towards their beverages corporation warehouse ut utilization another is uh, fund for the raw materials what i have given you the cost card this cost card if you see the cost card total expenses you can calculate with your volume you can calculate with your volume and you can know the fund, how much fund I need for 10,000 cases or 20,000 cases or 5,000 cases like this. Okay, Because uh, when I am going to ordering my own malt, I cannot order less than 15 ton. At least 15 ton load is there required for the ordering. Minimum pack size. Then uh, another thing is called earnest money deposit, EMD. Earnest money deposit before dispatching to the state warehouse that money need to be deposited to the government to get the uh, your excise uh, um, permit, permits for the dispatch. But that is going to be pay back to us after selling of the secondary. And another another investment is there that is uh, that is the excise duty measure is refundable. Uh, but export duty and import duty cannot be refundable. But it is very low. In certain state, it is around two rupees per bulk liter, one rupees per bulk liter, like this. Per case, it is seven rupees or eight rupees, like this. Maximum is per case is fifteen to twenty rupees. And again, import duty is also there. It depends upon state to state. Like Delhi, Delhi government right now they have reduced the import duty. I think they may have abolished the import duty certain thing to attract more entrant to the Delhi. Like this, certain states have their more uh, lucrative type of policy. That is there. So, this is the main part of my presentation because I need a discussion with this. Advantages and disadvantages. How, what are the, what are the advantages with the tie-up options? With Why we should not go with a green field? Why we should have a tie-up? Why? Because first and foremost is it not going to be a much more capex investment with the tie-up option. Second is it is less risky. If I'm, I see the market, market is, uh, for example, like COVID situation, market is very erratically behaving. You need to not pump a lot of beer to the market. You need to see the market, how we can pump, how we can introduce the beer in which segment, which part, like this. Another advantage is there, we are utilizing the brewery capacity and brewery quality and lot of manpower we are not utilizing. Only in marketing part, we need to have a manpower. In processing part, manufacturing part, we are utilizing the brewery. Only a brewer or a logistic person can handle the entire brewery operation. So that way, that way, manpower utilization is very low. So salary part is going to be a, we can avoid that salary part. Another thing, we do not want to give lot of excise burden to, because we are not having the brewery, we are having only tie-ups, so we don't have any burden. Because the owner is have to uh, bear the burden, he need to answer to the state body like pollution, like uh, labor act, like all these things, well, provident fund, all these things. That part is a hectic part that again we can avoid. That thing is the advantages. What are the disadvantages? Major disadvantage is that if the brewery quality is not up to mark, our tie up may not be happening. That is important. So that brewery should be audited and that should be, uh, that brewery should obey the norms what we have kept for our beer. That is important. 
that is important. That the surroundings maybe may happen. Why happen? Because 24 into 7 we cannot watch our beer in their brewery. So that type of uh, understanding should be the brewer, brewer owner. To so that my beer should be intact in my tank for a longer time. It, sh it should not be having any type of contamination or any kind of mischiefness with my beer because that is important. That is my baby. Another disadvantage is what is this? Because lot of brewery having their textile is very uniform. They never 100% want to have investment. With. Suppose I want to launch my beer in a super premium segment. So of course I, I have to go with a ring pull crown. And ring pull attachment with a filler is a costly affair. That brewery may not accept that investment. That time we can have a strategic discussions with that disadvantage. That is one other, another disadvantage. And last and foremost disadvantage is whether we, were, we are ready with our market, our team is ready with our market, with a new brand, that homework we should work first. Because marketing is important. Only producing beer and packing and selling to the government warehouse is not important. For the important is how much beer is from government warehouse is going to the shop is important. That is important. So marketing part, we need to be more strengthening in the marketing part. That is the decision. So I think uh, that till that my topic was there. So I need much more discussion because, you know, this uh, this is much more discussion is required, question is not required because uh, tying off, if the things should be in your mind, what question you can ask to me, then I can answer you categorically. Please have any questions. Yes, Hello. Hello. Anybody? Hi, I'm Ankur. Hi. So, my question is how you're doing market study and uh, penetration. So, on basis of what? No, that I am not doing. I am doing with the tie up options only, recipe designing. Marketing study again needs a marketing team. Okay. Though I am having a team who are right now working in market, but it is a very preliminary way, like they are working in the potential market. For example, Telangana, one potential market. Andhra is also having potential. Karnataka is a good potential market. Uh, Goa is also one potential market. So that market they are right now studying, but uh, again, that depends upon the cost cut analysis. How, what uh, segment we are going to be launched and what cost we are going to be payback. That is important. That is called analysis. You need to analyze because if we are not having exposed to the, exposure to the market, we cannot sell the product. That is important. Is there anyone with any other questions? Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Mohanty is around some more time and uh, you can always exchange your cards with him yeah. and always get in touch with him. Thank you, Dr. Mohanty, for thank your time. Thank you. Thank you, audience. I should thank thankful to Bruce. Brewer World for this uh, nice uh, arrangement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.